Hello gamers, today I'm going to show you movement in Withering Waves. So the first one is pressing spacebar and right click to do a backflip. Spacebar, right click. You can get up easier in stuff that you can nor normally can jump. Unfortunately, not all characters are created equal. So when you do spacebar and right click, you don't make it all the way to the top. But you do with some cr certain characters that are high, <laughs> taller than others. Alright, next movement skill we have... Uh, if you run over obstacles, you'll automatically vault over it. So like this one, <laughs> you vault over this, you vault over this, and then... Normally you could... This is the normal way to climb in most games. But if you hold shift, not hold shift, if you tap shift, you, you can run any direction, up and down. And then, <laughs> um, next one is... Like, you have this thing over here that you can't normally climb. But if you vault onto it, you could climb it all the way up. But then you have this one, right? It's like, oh no, I'm stuck. Well, you're not really stuck because if you press X, right click, then T, we can get over there. So let's do that combo now. X, right click, T. Bam, we're on top. <laughs> For example, if we climb this, this little thing. And we just, and then we start running. She, she jumps on the ledge. <laughs> That's pretty cool, right? And then there's also these grappling points all over the map. You hear like, you hear like squishing, like a kind of grappling noise like that. Every time one is in range. You just hear it. Then you can just press T once you hear it. They're all over the map. So movement in this, in this game is pretty nice. Uh, one, one of the more challenging movement quests that you will come across in the game is... Uh, Going against wind the the backflip challenge which is gonna be uh, kind of a wall for new players when they first start the game i'm pretty sure this is gonna be here but if you end up beating this quest early on you get four treasure chest rewards but there's an easy version medium version and difficult uh easy is more boxes but the hardest one is hall of famer so the goal the goal in this one is to backflip on this platform as many times as you want but if you backflip naturally, you go off, you, it gives you too much of a boost, right? So you can either like do it the normal way is jump forward, then backflip like this, or we could do shift, spacebar and jump. Shift, spacebar, jump. This yeah. is, a, I feel like this is the easiest way for, um, for new players to pick up momentum. So let's, let's start the challenge. We gotta do it 10 times, right? So we do, Shift, spacebar, jump. Shift, spacebar. Shift, spacebar, right click. <laughs> That's the combo. Shift, spacebar, right click. And we gotta do this 10 times. Easy peasy. Because you get a huge momentum if you do shift, spacebar. <laughs> and then uh, when we get to our 10, we'll do it normally. Okay, we got up to 10 normally. So the normal way is jump forward, then right click. But it's so easy to like fail if you do it that way. Let's say you have this team set up. And you equip like these three echoes these three echoes specifically on all three characters because in this game you can swap while you're climbing and while you're floating in the air right so for example there's like there's like a hidden there's, there's usually a hidden something over here so an easy way to get to that is just grapple press space bar and then swap to one q two q three q space bar again let me just go back to the beginning, press T again, get high ground. You can also press spacebar, um, right click in the air. So the, our key is ready, so go two, go. and the spacebar again, and then press T. I'm getting closer, there's gonna be a grappling point here because there's a secret over here. And there, once, once you grapple to it, you'll get the secret up here, but you can't stay up there, unfortunately, because it'll knock you off. <laughs> All right, so now we do the the water tech, right? So let's see, we're at this bar now, right? Um, we're missing three bars. So if I press T, Q, 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 boom. Look, we recovered one full bar. <laughs> you can have one team specifically using these three echoes to explore places. If you want to go, you know, explore the world. Maybe try to go out of boundaries and get to areas where you shouldn't be or you can be. Because <laughs> sometimes you can glitch to areas if you want to. So, so once again, press T, Q, 
swap between all your characters, press the Q, and then back down. Look at that. Now we recover two bars of our stamina. <laughs> then we can swap. You can also swap um, while you're swimming, but that should sum up the swimming tech. Um, also, if you're falling down heights in this game, if you end up running out of stamina, let's say you're in a super, super duper high area, um, like over here. Nice. Alright, so this is what happens if you're out of stamina. You just keep sliding down. And you'd be like, yang. <laughs> oh no, it's too steep. <laughs> That's alright. We got let's go let's keep going down. That's so cool, alright. <laughs> go all the way down. You go if you also you can also press X if you wanna stop the climbing like this. I press X to stop climbing and I'm just sliding down the hill. But if you find yourself that you're finding dropping all the way hard one, just try to do like swap characters to do plunge dive. Oh. Unless you land on water. Then it's rover. <laughs> but if you if you're in a high if you're like in a high altitude place, um it doesn't matter if you're out of stamina or you have stamina. You can just uh plunge dive anywhere and you're not gonna take any form of fall damage. So let's see. Well, I guess we'll just plunge dive all the way straight down here, right? This is pretty high enough for most people. So, plunge dive by holding a heavy attack. And you just go all the way down, but you don't take any damage. See, we reach the floor level. Still full HP. Still gaming. How hard it'll be later. Uh, it's not that hard. It's I think it's good that they don't make it too hard. Because not a lot of people can be, you know, really sweaty in games like this. So, alright, let's go. Ooh. Good. There's no we'll press T. Press T again. Ooh. Jump up. Right click. Jump up. Right click. Run. T. Jump up. T. And then just keep following the road. Every time you do the pillar, you either press right click to dash forward. And this one you need to grapple. And grapple again. Jump up. Grapple. Up. Grapple. Oh, this is my favorite part right here. Look. <laughs> slide in. Yo. This is how you slide. If you're out of stamina, that's how you normally would slide. And this one's space bar. And then dash forward. Dash forward. T. And then T again. T again. T again. And then we run straight. T. And then plunge. Easy. <laughs> So, I think the movement in this game is pretty cool, right? But on Yinglin, uh, Yinlin, she jumps way over. <laughs> but as the beginning of the video, right, it doesn't work on this. Oh, the NPC's gone here. Because it's nighttime? Maybe they went to bed. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, we can't backflip towards it. That should be it for the movement video. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the short. Well, it's probably not short. It's probably long now because I was going on. But hey. This is Wuthering Web Wuthering Waves movement and it helps a lot when you explore the world. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'll see y'all later. This is your brother, Separo, out.